Hi everyone. Oh. My name's Edmund West. I have my own YouTube channel called Edmund West because I have loads of imagination. <laughs> Feel free to visit. Don't be scared of the subscribe button. It's there to be clicked. Watch as many adverts as you want. Buy as many things as you want. Don't look at the videos, obviously. They're shit. But <laughs> click on those damn adverts. Now, I'll tell you a bit about myself. I have autism and don't believe any of the nonsense you see on TV. It's brilliant being autistic. I got paid 135 quid to do a few MRIs, take a couple of pills, and answer some questionnaires. This is what you get when you're mentally disabled. Fantastic. But I was a bit annoyed, because these pills, not only do they not make you have hallucinations, they're not fatal, at, there's no risk at all. I was saying, hang on, I want the life-threatening ones, please. You'll have to pay me thousands. No, we don't want to. Affect your well-being. Sod my well-being. I want a new smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> now, anyone from Sutton? No, well, don't, it, it's it's incredibly boring. But there is an endangered species there which you might want to glimpse. There's only eight of them in the whole world. A Lib Dem MP. <laughs> Why isn't a Green Party campaigning to save them? <laughs> Another thing the Green Party should be campaigning against is porn. Because porn is responsible for the near extinction of a beloved creature. That's it, the pubic louse. They're endangered, seriously, because everyone in porn films has their pube shape, and that's become a fashion, so that their natural habitat is being eradicated. Because, I mean, the Green, and the Green Party makes no mention of this. Oh yeah, they go on about elephants and pandas, because we find them cute, but a pubic louse apparently isn't attractive enough. It's disgusting. Now, I went to Amsterdam last summer, awesome place. I went to see the windmills, the 17th century buildings, the canals, well, that's what I told my mum anyway. <laughs> and when I got there, I realised the sky isn't one colour, it's several. And then I realised that bricks breathe and the canals <laughs> rise with the time. <laughs> and then I realised I'd taken too many shrooms. But, I tried to get there for free and I nearly succeeded because well, I went by Ryanair and you can go for free, but you have to go in the boot. Well, that's fine, I, I'm not made of money, so that's fine. You also have to watch adverts for two hours, that's fine. But then, I, what I didn't realise, insurance adverts. Two hours of that, it's not worth it. No thank you, no thank you. Now, one of the hobbies of mine is confusing American tourists. Right. It's so easy to do. When they, ask, when they ask for directions, just say it's by a pub called the Red Lion. <laughs> it's brilliant! And then I follow them and watch them get lost. It's awesome. Now, any Game of Thrones fans in? Yeah, I'm a fan too. Well, at least I was. The whole thing got ruined for me. Spoiled, yeah. Some idiot called George Martin's written a load of books telling you exactly what's going to happen in the TV show. I mean, it's bloody disgusting. No one has respect for TV nowadays. And I'm going to write into HBO because there are some disgusting scenes in the latest season. There are these scenes where men take their clothes off and the woman doesn't? Sexist! It's filthy. Uh, that, oh, the men laughed and the women didn't, note to self. <laughs> now, my parents accuse me of hanging around with overgrown students. And they're probably right. But what they don't get is, the alternative's worse. The alternative is hanging around with breeders. Now, breeders... <laughs> people who have kids. <laughs> Breeders are appalling because not only do they have about a hundred pictures of their kids on the walls, not only do they have their kids in the home when I'm there, which is just... They have to show you pictures of their kids as well, as if it wasn't bad enough. I mean, can't they keep their disgusting stuff to themselves? <laughs> yeah, I better not get into teaching again. <laughs> now, I'll just leave you with this. A lot of men are scared 
that women don't need us anymore because you can freeze sperm, you can have IVF, but don't worry, women still need us. I'll tell you why. Because dildos can't buy drinks. <laughs> 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 <laughs>